Okay, welcome to Ghana Weekend TV. It's another day we're here again uh, to give you some great content right here. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. This is where we give you authentic entertainment content, uh, everything trending in showbiz in Ghana elsewhere. My name is Kwame Dazi. Uh, you can also read more stories on GhanaWeekend.com. I'm so much honored to have somebody I've been like dying to see all this while. You know, I've been following her on social media, on IG with all the videos. There was one video she was telling a story about some woman going somewhere and I'm like, hey, yeah, then pa. I was like, I was like, this woman, why? Okay, so I have in the studio Stephanie Benson. She's right here. Hello, Stephanie. Oh, you're here Hi, darling. You're I know. Can you imagine? Every day I watch you on IG and I see a video that you put out there and I'm like, you know, do you, do you get sad? Do, no, do, you, do you get sad? Actually, I, have to, I, I don't. Um, I don't see any reason why to be sad. I mean, there isn't anything to be sad about. Mm -hmm. We all go through moments where something is like not going so well. But I don't revel in it. For me, it takes 10 seconds and I think, what can I do? Usually when I feel like I'm going to a certain kind of mood, I will exercise. Or I'll go for a walk with music in my ear and I'll be singing along and then I'm out of it. But no, I mean, sadness is, is no. Because you are almost always happy. I don't know. I don't know if it's for the cameras or... Oh, or I like, mean, you can't fake, fake it for that uh -huh, long. You see. No, I am... Um, you see, my, I've got sometimes my children who come through as well. Yeah. And when they come through, you know, I'm happy when I see them. And it's, it's, it's sort of constant. When I have my quiet moments mm -hmm. as well, I'll go to my music room and I'll play piano or maybe I will just um, sing or record or write words. But no, I don't have moments where I'm thinking, I'm irritated. I, mean, I don't talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't last long. So how do you come by all those videos? Do you sit down to plan the, no. the concept? You don't? At all. This is what I do. I have cameras. Um, what I started to do was I have um, cameras in the corner of most of the rooms. Okay. Kitchen. I don't have it in the kids' sitting room because they, they wanted to kill me when I did that <laughs> one. Because we go a little over the top. Yeah. So I took it from the sitting area and I put it in my sitting room with John. Mm -hmm. I put it in the kitchen up in the bedroom, in the landing, and John's office, because I have two floors. Okay. So, yeah, so then I can catch whatever. So you guys see the same stairs. There's two floors, though, so there's not the Ooh. same stairs. I can do some, on, some downstairs, and then some in the, on the first floor, and then some on the second yeah. floor. So, because um, from first and second, there's carpeted. So it looks the same, but it isn't. But mm, if you look mm, at the pictures mm. behind, you know that it sort of changes all the time yeah. because it's different stairs. But yeah, I have cameras. So when I walk into a room, I have a clicker. All right. I click it. But and I just go, and go about my business. And then something always, always happens somewhere <laughs> in the house when I'm there. So it's like, um, it's unscripted. John doesn't know I'm going to do half the things I do to him. He knows I'm going to do something because even without the cameras, uh -huh. I'm worse. <laughs> I am so bad. I remember one time I caught me being a pain in the neck and oh. I filmed it. John looked and says, you're not posting that one. <laughs> so I put it on our chat room with the kids. I said, guys, do you think I should post it? All said, no, mommy, oh. no. <laughs> but if you guys saw it, you will be on the floor with laughter. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. But yeah, I scared John. I, I hid somewhere, but the guy almost peed himself and I can't post that. Because if I post it, <laughs> that's his manhood gone. <laughs> do you edit everything by yourself? I do. Wow. I do. When I'm sitting, I'm, it's very quick because I don't really like to over edit. The only reason why I edit okay. is because it's sometimes too long and you yeah, can't keep somebody's yeah. attention for 10 minutes. So I, I sort of just, sometimes I fast forward it or okay. I cut bits. But I could put the whole thing out. And sometimes I do it on my YouTube. Mm -hmm. So if you want to watch the whole video. It's on YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel. It's a Living with Stephanie Benson. Oh, OK. So I put that there. Um, and the edited version goes to, most people don't know. So they only watch the Instagram short versions. But most of the long videos is on my YouTube. I was just about to say. I don't say, advertise it, so I think most uh -huh. people didn't know. Yeah, I you didn't. should, because I was just about saying, uh, why don't you monetize what you put out there? Because you have great mm. content. Yeah, I'm lazy. Everybody says, oh, you could make money from me. So I'm like, it's, it's such a chore. Like maybe put together a reality show, you know. No, we, we were going to. That's why I started that channel called Living with Stephanie. Yeah. I got a deal to go to um, America to do um, a reality show. Mm -hmm. And I put it to the kids. Every single one of them said no. 
<laughs> and then <laughs> they don't care about money. Those kids, yeah. you know, at my age, they should be doing what I want them to do. So Sam could say, "Phone, almost say sorry." Almost say, almost say no. So then later on, as I was putting the videos out, mm -hmm. like little by little, they started to realize it was actually quite fun. And also, I'm not that mean. So if they don't look so good in the sense yeah. that they're saying, um, or they're naked or something, they're doing something, I won't post it because they think I'm so creative that I will post every single Everything. thing that may. And I said, no, I mean, I will edit some kakra, mm -hmm. but sometimes I don't. Yeah, well, we know. <laughs> and, and I put it out and I go, oh my God, did I do that? I'm sorry. I'll, do you want me to take it down? And then by that time, they've forgotten about it. <laughs> but so, yes, we were going to do Living with Stephanie, mm -hmm. a, a, you know, like a reality. And then COVID hit, you know, and oh. we thought we'd be finished quickly and COVID really, really oh. just kept going. Oh, Charlie. So they said to move there, and I said, no, not in COVID. I'm not coming, and then leaving mm -hmm. my children mm -hmm. to, you know, to start anything. It's just not going to yeah. happen. So that's why it got put off. Otherwise, there was living with Stephanie Benson going to happen. Wow. Um, but are you, are you really thinking about, about making it happen? Like? Yes, yes. I will make it happen, um, because especially now my daughter is um, pregnant, and my oh, oldest yeah. one is about to have a, a child. Wow. I told her that we should do something, because people are interested in how a mother... Yeah. You know, and she's actually really famous. Um, Alex is, was in one of the biggest girl groups in the UK called okay. um, Stushy. You probably would know. Yeah, Black Heart is the biggest um, I'm hit. And, you know, she just got tired of it and had a break. So I'm thinking between her, her and I, we could do something, you know. You, you, should, you should do that. Yeah, but we, we will. We will now. It just means I get carried away doing other things. <laughs> I need somebody to call me and say, Steph, I'm coming. Hey, uh -huh. 10 o'clock, we're filming. You know the manager. You do this. I know, I have a manager, okay. my, my, um, I've had a manager for 25 years, the same one. The guy is, again, he's also, is an old guy. And he sees me as the old Stephanie. I need somebody who sees me as a new Stephanie. Yeah. He knows I've always yeah. been crazy, but he wants me to be as glamorous and nah, and da, da, da. I'm not glamorous. You see? I mean, I'm a tomboy, <laughs> no question. So I need a new manager. No, you mean, you know. Yeah, you do. I was going to use Bulldog, but the guy can't, hey, he's, he's singing. Hey, Bulldog matter. Yeah. But, but Bulldog, no. I love Bulldog, he's cute. He's right. such a, he's, he's a good guy, and that whole bravado is not how he is with me. But? But in, 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 He would have actually done wonders for my later career, I'm sure. Yeah. But, and, and no amount of money is worth yeah. um, flicking Bulldog's penis. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, you know, you know, everybody, everybody says, no, Stephanie looks very young, like 30, 40. Oh, that's so cute. Do, do, you, do, you, do you get men hitting on you? Oh, young if men, that young stops, men. No, I will be men. very upset. Like, like, like Bulldog, like Bulldog. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I even you, have 22-year-olds. 22? 22? Um, yes, my son's friends always DM me and say, you coming to town? You know, the, they that's don't seriously. call me mommy. It's only you people who... Who want to date me and then call me mommy at the same time? Think what the is wrong with you? <laughs> Some oh, yeah, guy yeah, reach nah. out to me and say, "Hi, mommy, I really like you. Can I take you on a date?" I'm thinking, What's the Sorry, <laughs> you called me mommy. I do you date your mother. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Don't call me mommy. Just say Steph or something. Nah, and can I date you? That's crazy. It. No, but I do get on. I, if that's ever stopped, I'd be upset because I mean, then I know that I'm over the hill. Yeah. And even then, I'll have to change that. Yeah. You know, something will it. have to change. <laughs> I might go under the knife and give myself some ass. Like so all, what? Like all your celebrities are doing. Yeah, those people. To to <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's about time I did some ass. Because when I'm doing my, my exercise uh -huh. thing, some of these young guys are, oh, monso ne, ne, ne skinny body anorexia. I say, hey, monso na mo ne mo tona. And you're modi ano. Look, there's a girl standing here who's got like naturally formed that one she too. Sitting now. Some naturally okay, formed they are two hips. Yes. <laughs> and that uh, do, do you want to see them? Not, <laughs> yes. Uh, I will show then, a picture of them, don't worry. <laughs> and then you know me, I wasn't born with us. It's okay. Everything I have is squats. I do lots of squats. So it's lifted. Yeah. And it's like every part of my tall, body. And John likes it. Like, so he likes it. Uh, yeah, so yeah John likes it. Problem? But I want the young ones to just like it from afar too. Hey. <laughs> from afar. <laughs> Charlie, but no, but I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm sort of joking. But yes, I do. I exercise for me. Yeah. I want to look good for me. Yeah. And, 
even at 60, I still want my body to be toned. Oh. Um, I, I'm very, very critical of, of myself, not for anybody. I always have been. That's why I've been able to maintain um, my, my, well, my physique and whatnot. Because as you get older, it's harder to exercise, you yeah. know, and you have to make yourself. And I make myself do it. This is not, nothing I have on me is surgically enhanced. This is all hard work. You can't, wow. you know, do surgery to get muscles. Usually, it's like, <laughs> so huh. when people say you've done surgery, I'm saying, ah, I mean, look at my leg. Huh? Does it look like it's that, you know, I work out power, me bro. I wake up, I go for a six mile run, and then I come and do some yoga, maybe I'll do some boxing. And the night I spar, I do kickboxing, where I sort of do like semi-professional fighting, you know, in the huh? ring. I love it. You know, it's not just when you see my face is wounded, because some girl hit huh? me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. And then I annihilate her, yes. I've never lost in a ring, ever. And I won't. Wow. Guys, okay, so you see, you see, you want to look young, you know. Yeah, you always it's say, oh, easy. Stephanie looks very young and healthy and all that. Oh, did you know what that for? Bam. Then you go to bed. You see, you know, work out. Well, work out, out with my six pack. It makes you feel good as well. That's the thing. I mean, it, it, it just releases some endorphins in your body that make you yeah, just happy. Yeah. It's like, like a, it's really like a happy dose working out. So when, you, when I wake up and I'm not able to work out for more than two or three days, and funny enough, I hurt my shoulder. So I struggled to sort of lift it lift. all the way up. Okay. I'll tell you why I did it. I was doing handstands with the kids. Wow, well, sometimes now, nah, you know, I forget that the muscle, the bones are... You see. And then I landed badly. So now the, the it's really swollen inside, the um, ligaments are. Okay. So I have to go and have it fixed. So I haven't worked out for about a, a month. My muscle tone, I've got great muscle memory. So as soon as I go back, yeah. it'll be fine. So even without that, I've been doing squats and whatnot. Because I'm always like boxing, mm -hmm. that's why I think it's so easy for me to, you know, um, wow. um, just have it. But I'll sort it. So just inject some cortisone in there. Okay. You, you have a very beautiful family, you know. Yeah. There is somebody in my office who is crushing on your, your, your son. Which one? The, the young one. The, no, the, the, um, the, the the lean tall one. Yes, no. The, the other one you were teaching how to dance. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That was that's the last baby. Twenty two years old. His last baby. He's the last one. He's six foot four. That kid. Um. Yeah. But number two is also six three. And but he's like more of a yeah. But yes, Cameron. Cameron and I. It's like husband and wife. When he wakes up in the morning, he walks straight to my room, and he comes to lie by my bedside. Yes, and we friend. just had a more TV. Sorry. Is he a girlfriend? Um, he's had a girlfriend, but his sisters didn't like her, so he left her. Oh, oh how? Then we we, have, like we, we have one for her. Yeah, here. She was an internet babe. I don't want internet babes. No, we want to give. We you know, to give I want real. Sorry. We want to give somebody here. Oh, media, Cameron, Cameron can handle a black woman really well. He handles me very well. He knows how to get to the good side of me, and you know, and make me feel good about the. My Cameron will walk in my room and see that maybe I'm a little irritated or because mm -hmm. when I see them, I'm like, ah, I'm happy. But he can tell. So he comes and says, what's up, mom? And then he'll sit and listen. So when he sits to listen to you, it's not like, oh, OK, it's OK, it's OK. He will sit and listen. And the way he'll hug you, oh. you'll forget everything. So that's why I'm not sad. Because when Cameron um, walks into my room, I remember when I was going through cancer, mm -hmm. Cameron was always there every morning. I'm um, just checking on me, making sure everything was okay. I showed him my breast. Sometimes he comes and says, are you going to do these nipples? And then he'll like, you know, it's just a beautiful, it just feels good. Wow. Um, so yeah, I, there's no aside, but Cameron, he'll make some black woman very happy. Oh, black yeah. woman in my office. Are you watching? Yeah. <laughs> this is all for you. Yeah, <laughs> it be all for you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, we take you here. Don't worry at all. But let, let's talk about music. Did you ever study music in school? Yes. I, um, I, my father taught me how to play piano from the age of three, um, very early age. So piano was something I loved to do. Um, and then I went to the National Academy of Music. So I learned how to play the piano, the guitar, oh, wow. the saxophone, the violin, lots of instruments. But I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't sing, so I was more of a musician. And then when I was signed to Stockade and Waterman and my first recording deal, because they saw the physicality more mm -hmm. than the, the expertise, they pulled me away from the piano. Mm -hmm. And I sort of, so I got lazy, you know, because I, I love performing. 
and performance at that time was really just about you know now now we have the alicia keys who sit behind the yeah, piano yeah and i really yeah. should have just kept that going but i'm going to go back to it because i'm going to start playing properly again because i taught myself how to play wow um, so you're not retiring oh uh, what should i retire wow you know in ghana when you're like 50 40. When you want money, I know I hear that. I don't mind them. No, listen, they should put me on stage uh -huh. with any young person and say uh -huh. we should do a show. We'll see who will be sweating. <laughs> and you then see. you can tell me I, when I can't do that anymore, then tell me to retire. But while I can do it, of course. And also, you don't even have to be sweating. I, I mean, I, I'm saying in some of the most amazing places that even some of your stars would never even uh -huh. dream of being. Yeah. So um, music is in my blood. It's not something that I can get rid of. It doesn't matter how old I am. Yeah. It, you can't get rid of it, yeah. you know. So I don't see why I should retire. For, for what will stop singing, that is, it's not a job for me. It's a part of my life. Okay. So um, no, I, I can't stop it because then I'll die inside. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I get you. It's like waking up yeah. and having a shower. You know, you can't go around dirty. Yeah. You need to have a shower. Music is you. It's me. I am music. Yeah. And, and it's not going to um, stop. I mean, I'm still doing what I like to do. Yeah. You can either choose to listen or not. Okay. That's your choice. Okay. But you can't tell somebody to retire. Okay, so ha having a background in music, knowing the rudiments of music, you know, you know all your keys, your notes and everything. How did that help you uh, navigate through everything in music as a music career? Did it help you in any way? being able to know your notes, how to maybe read notes, how to play the piano, how did that uh, influence your composition and all that? Well, it, it does, um, because, you know, sometimes when, when you go into any kind of scenario and you have a good ear for music, um, you, can, you can maneuver your, your yeah. way that way. I mean, I'm not saying that everybody needs to l learn some instrument to be able to do music, no, but you should have some idea. Mm -hmm. I always say, for me, I say that mo every artist should have a basic idea of the piano or even okay. a guitar, basic. Okay. You don't have to be amazing at it. I mean, I sort of stopped playing, but I have a basic, I could sit and play, at least play chords to any song, you know, and then I used to be very quick. I'd sit at a piano and you could sing anything, I, you know. I've lost that knack, but again, piano is like anything. As soon as you start playing it after mm -hmm. about two weeks, it's going to come back. Yeah. And during the pandemic, I was playing it a lot and then, you know, you get lazy, you know, <laughs> because I take so much for granted because I can play multiple instruments. You just assume that it's, you know, it's like riding a bike, but it's like not singing for a long time. A long time it yeah. does take a little while. But yeah, I think everybody should. It helped me maneuver my way through writing and for other people, understanding people's cool. keys, yeah. what they're good at um, hearing ability to sing what the range is and it helped me because I write for a lot of people I go into studio for up and coming artists um, in the UK and the US I get called to come and work with somebody and I'll go and I'll work with them as um, in understanding what they're good at um, you know listening to what the, where their voice is I'm no vocal tutor they have those but okay. I just uh, try to understand what's good for them vocally mm -hmm. and what I can write for them some people, um, you can write songs for just anybody, but if their understanding of what you're writing is not there, they can't project it through music. So when I'm with them, I try to understand where they come from, their background. So when I'm writing, whatever I write works for them okay. so to project it in their songs. Song, right. And it's important, you know, that you do that. That's how every professional should work. Instead of going, they write anything, ah, uh, you know, and then they put it out there and there's no authenticity. That's why we struggle to move on abroad as well, I think. Yeah. It's like my girls, when she was signed yeah. to Warner Brothers, yeah. they had um, years of them, you know, Joe was the manager. She used to write like different music and used to record, 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 record. And then they would hear the one that actually projected them that they could sing authentically. That sounded right. good and could, people then could translate and um, so understand. All right. All right. And it's important that way. You know. Very, Sorry, very important. Running. Very, okay. very important. But uh, Stephanie, you did some rap out there live on TV. Charlie, I did feel the rap. Seriously. Just give a freestyle, you know. The rap, you know, because we, we've always known you to be the, the vocalist, yeah. you know, extraordinaire. But yeah. now, Charlie, do you rap? You want? You know something? Yeah. When I was doing that, I did the safe bit in the beginning. There's a bit in the middle. <laughs> what time do you play this? this? This should be up by close of today. 
Oh, okay. Because well, if it's evening, then I'll give you the second part of the rap. Oh, okay. But, because the second part of the rap is bad, but I'll give you the first bit. Okay, first okay. one. Let's go. If I'm a queer, 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 I'm a do you like to hump? You made it on your knees with a rubber dub dub. Confessions on the floor, the meal still roll, your mouth so sore, you lie about bug nick to go. Hey! Mr. Midian, the crummy does, you are here on a weekend TV. And it feels good having Stephanie Benson right here. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. On our show. Thank and you for having make me. Make sure you subscribe to Ghana Weekend TV and read our stories on GhanaWeekend.com. My name is Kwame Dazi. She's Stephanie. Bye bye. Thank you.